My name is Rhonda Yantis. I am a professor of pathology and laboratory medicine at Weill Cornell Medical College, and I am the director of the GI pathology service at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Gastrointestinal or GI pathology is a subspecialty in anatomic pathology. Gastrointestinal pathologists study diseases related to the GI tract using the microscope and glass slides from patient tissues and make diagnoses that then help guide the care of the patients. Specimens that we review in GI pathology are obtained by gastroenterologists through an endoscope. So we receive very tiny tissue fragments that are subject to artifactual distortion, which can distort or obscure findings in the biopsy. Some patients have somewhat ambiguous diagnoses, and in those situations, it's best to get the opinions of multiple individuals who might have more expertise in those areas. The inter-observer variability can actually be quite high. In fact, with respect to Barrett esophagus and dysplasia, the American Gastroenterology Association recommends every diagnosis of dysplasia in patients with Barrett esophagus to be agreed upon by at least two pathologists Second opinions help all of us. They can confirm our ways of practicing medicine because most of the time they confirm the diagnosis that was originally rendered and they can pick up errors before the patient has a bad outcome from an inappropriate treatment decision. Some patients may worry that they'll offend their doctors when seeking a second opinion, but they need to remember that doctors went into medicine to take care of patients and help them. We have several interdisciplinary conferences to discuss the management of patients, both medical management and surgical management. And pathologists also have daily consensus conferences at which the GI pathologists meet as a group to discuss difficult or challenging cases. This multidisciplinary approach to patient care is relatively new, and it's drastically improved the management of individuals who have gastrointestinal diseases.